The Platt LePage XR1 was one of the earliest American helicopters and the first with a transverse rotor configuration to be tested by the United States Army Air Forces. Its development stemmed directly from United States interest in German rotary wing achievements during the late 1930s. American industrialist Lawrence LePage visited Germany in 1937, where he witnessed the Focke Wolf FW61 in flight, piloted by Hanna Reich. Impressed, he acquired licensing rights for the technology and returned to the United States with ambitions to create a similar aircraft. In 1938, Congress approved $2 million for helicopter research. LePage partnered with engineer Haviland Platt, forming the Platt LePage Aircraft Company. Their initial concept, the PL-1, was unsuccessful, but in 1939 they introduced the PL-3, which would later be designated XR-1 after winning a United States Army Air Corps competition in 1940. The Army signed contract AC-375 on July 19, 1940, commissioning the construction of a prototype and a static test fuselage. The XR-1 was powered by a 440-horsepower Pratt & Whitney R985-21 engine, driving two three-bladed rotors mounted on wing-like pylons. Although the XR-1 flew for the first time on May 12, 1941, development was plagued with technical problems. Early tests revealed serious control issues and airframe resonance, leading to pilot-induced oscillations. Despite modifications and a brief resurgence in confidence when Colonel Hollingsworth Franklin Gregory achieved 100 miles per hour during a test flight, problems persisted. A crash in 1943 grounded the aircraft for a year. To continue testing, Platt LePage built a second improved prototype, the XR-1A, which flew in May 1943. Though its control characteristics were better, it too suffered a rotor hub failure in October 1944. Despite plans to produce seven YR-1A pre-production models, the Army canceled all contracts in April 1945, favoring Sikorsky's more reliable XR-4. After military rejection, the XR-1 briefly entered the civilian market. Test pilot Lou Levitt restored the XR-1A and sold it to Frank Piasecki, who used it for design reference but never flew it. The XR-1 was ultimately retired to the Smithsonian. Platt LePage's ambitious project failed to mature, yet it remains a notable milestone in United States helicopter history.